Hi guys, this is Alex uh, from the product management team here at Cody. Uh, it's been a few weeks since we last spoke, so we wanted to offer you a tech update um, involving the Multidac 2.0. So, um, you know, since we last spoke, uh, we basically were focusing on the release of the Multidac 2.0. Uh, I'm happy to update you that uh, currently the backend uh, developers finished uh, their work and, um, in the, you know, staging, development staging environment uh, we named uh, Foxnet. And basically this staging environment will allow us to take the new Multidac 2.0 and run it to its paces and uh, test its uh, scalability, performance, reliability, and also uh, security. So this is for the backend. Uh, from the front end and user experience um, in user interface front, uh, we are happy to update that the front-end uh, development team is the final stages of delivering the Token Forge application that will be within Viper, and that new application will allow to generate and mint new tokens. So our Multidac 2.0 uh, efforts include also the release of Explore 2.0 and Bridge 2.0. I'll start with Explorer 2.0. So as you probably know, based on our previous videos about the Multidoc 2.0, it will enable us to generate and mint new tokens. And obviously Explorer will need to provide information uh, related uh, to those new tokens, uh, their circulating supply, their cap, and other parameters that those tokens have. Uh, in addition, we will allow you to search for particular transactions based uh, on that particular token that you are looking for. Uh, also, we are doing a complete redesign of the UI UX experience. And this new uh, UI will offer a better performance and uh, you know, it will be much more easier to go through uh, the data that we have on the trust chain. Bridge 2.0. So in Bridge 2.0, we completely redesigned the infrastructure to allow uh, the bridge to be more scalable. Um, we will offer, it will offer us ability to uh, create easier integrations with other chains. Um, additional, I think it's a game changer in terms of bridge. We will allow you to monitor your swaps uh, from network A to network B throughout the entire life cycle of the swap, basically until you reach confirmation. Uh, you will have transaction hashes on, you know, on chain A, on chain B. So you will have a single location that you will be able to constantly monitor what is happening and what is the status of your uh, swap. I think it's a big uh, game changer as the community was asking uh, for this functionality and I'm happy to, we finally we will be able to deliver it. Um, and of course, uh, as you probably know, the Multidac 2.0 will allow us to generate a million tokens. So that means that we will also enable you to transfer those tokens to the networks that we're already uh, working with. And additional thing, and it's even more important, it will allow us to import uh, tokens from uh, other networks. So that's a huge thing. And lastly, let's talk about Treasury. We already update you guys that you already released to production the new, um, let's say, enhancement to the Treasury. Uh, one is um, the liquidation price that is now visible when you open new deposits and you select a multiplier higher than one. So we will have a clear understanding at which price uh, the deposit may be liquidated as a result of uh, Cody price uh, fluctuation and the market fluctuation. Uh, in addition, uh, we added an ID on the top of the deposit cards, with, which will enable you easily to communicate with our support team uh, concerning a certain deposit that you wish to inquire about. So those are the two um, major enhancements that we released recently um, our, you know, around Treasury. So one additional thing that we are doing right now is we are working on the mobile app support, uh, the iOS app and the Android app to allow you guys to uh, you know, create and monitor your deposits using our uh, mobile apps. It's, uh, it's work that we are doing in parallel, you know, along uh, with everything else that we are doing uh, simultaneously. 
So I'm uh, currently not uh, comfortable committing on a certain date, but uh, just an update that we are um, hearing you guys and we are working on it and we will hopefully be able to deliver it um, as soon as possible. I might be inclined to say Q3, but don't, uh, don't catch me by the tongue. So thank you for listening for this uh, tech update. Um, it's not the first and definitely not last, and we're going to do a lot of those uh, going down forward. So thank you for listening and stay cutting.